Bankroll challenge. Play an explained version. We are here to annihilate, lay down the law. We're playing on party poker today. Sometimes we'll be playing parties. Sometimes we'll be playing other sites. <coughs> uh, we'll not be playing on GG on stream though. As, uh, I'm keeping that that little title, that little name to myself. Not so bad. When we go that small, he's going to have some ace jack suit. He's going to have some ace 10 suit, probably. Let's see about it. Maybe some king queen suited. Or some light pocket nines. It's very likely. I'm going to go for it. Get the cat open. Hello, beautiful people. Go check out epiphanypoker.com. It is the best. Poker community the world has ever seen. Guaranteed. We have a fucking, we have a, an amazing refund policy. So if you disagree, if you go check it out and you don't like it, just, uh, just ask for your money back. Just the channel. This guy's chosen death. Very kind of him. Chat open. Chat. Okay. <laughs> Probably gonna be losing this bot. Unless no, we're losing this bot. <coughs> Jack eight, huh? Jack eight and Ace eight. What what a what a play from both of them. Jack eight getting in very good. Ace eight. Absolute whale and station there. And the jacket guy. I gotta <laughs> I gotta get a know on both of them. I don't know is his name. I don't know. Kind of stuff you don't see on GG, I'll tell you that. There's different types of whales on each platform. That is not something you see on GG. Definitely can lead here. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to block. And expecting folds from all ace highs. Uh, and it's like, I don't think threes are going to bet so big on the flop. So just ace highs, really. Man, this really feels like a bluff, but anything about that this is the guy with jack eight so uh we gotta just uh make sure we have some value hands against these people huh gotta play a lot loot a lot tighter than i than i do on on gg people here are looking to put 100 big blinds in so our strategy is gonna be have it a lot <coughs> like really have it a lot Just gonna lose this, gotta get the other chat going. Perfect. How the heck am I? I'm doing fucking I'm doing amazing. I just had a nice outing with my family. Ooh. I see, do we lead? Yeah, let's lead. I just had a nice outing in my family in a beautiful park. <coughs> had a relaxing morning. Did a coaching session this morning, which I actually put on, on, uh, on Twitch and I put on YouTube as well, as well as being in my Discord. Usually they're just in the Discord. This one I decided to stream as well. I shouldn't open seven do suited by this play. I'm I'm too used to playing on GG where everyone's a recreational player. Like I don't recognize them. Uh, that was not a good decision. So we'll be see betting this one. Why am I not playing on GG? I am playing on GG mostly still. 
you know, I'm I'm open to boycotting it. I really am. Uh, go to the size. Get rid of this. Nice. I don't really call me that with sixes, maybe. Queen five suited. Yeah, I'm open to boycotting it, but they haven't ruined Russian cash yet, so I'm not sure about it. Um, but I'm definitely open to boycotting it if people want to get in the Russian cash boycotts too. Where are the other six tables? Yeah, I mean, I'm just a, I'm an old man these these days, Tom. I'm an old man. I I don't play the 24 tables or the eight tables of Zoom or anything like that. I just uh, I just grind out my win rate. Grind out my, my classic blue line win rate and try and squeeze in a few BB per 100. At least uh, on Party Poker, that honestly is my strategy. <laughs> my blue line win rate. I've never been a blue line winner in my life. I've just been a red line crusher. Uh, it's just who I am. It's in my blood, it's in my bones. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you got you to gotta adjust to the times. And these times they're pretty wild. Jack 10 off suit. I guess we're going to fold that too. They could definitely do some better things with the software on party. They could definitely do some better things. Are you guys excited to see how to make a ton of money playing poker? The bankroll challenge has barely started. Barely started. We're actually going to call this because this guy is wild. This guy is the Jack A guy. So we're also going to raise this flop. As I said, blue line poker. <laughs> you guys excited to see the bankroll challenge? Where I show everybody the dream is still alive. Never lose hope in the softness and the beauty of online poker. Sweet throwballs. Yes, I got one. Zoom. Where I'm turning $500 into $100,000 using mostly a throwable strategy, mostly using rockets to garner fold equity out of my opponents. I'd say it's like 80, maybe like 70% of the strategy is learning which throwables to use and which emojis to throw out in GG. Um, and then there, on top of that, I guess there's also like the you know range analysis and poker side of things, but uh, it's mostly mostly throwables. All right, I guess we check all. <coughs> Not in the business of making somebody fold a an over pair in this at this point. Now it's different. Now we definitely can make a consideration of making somebody fold, but I think I'm just gonna call again. And what a beautiful river. Better than a spade. Question is, what's the best size? What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. It's a three minute delay, so. I think I'm gonna go over bet. Doesn't get called as often, but sometimes people just get suspicious. You know, you know what I mean? Sometimes people just say they're like, oh, why did you bet so big? I would, and that's why I'd be very suspicious of a big size. Some do say it's such a poor bet. You're right. I'm such a fish, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I've let you down. I got I got two in my head about trying to play tight. I forgot my ranges. Charlie is gnarly. Thank you. What do I think is wrong with GD? They're going power crazy, man. They're, they're crushing all of their competitors and they're messing up. They're raising the rake in a spot where it's unfeasible and unsustainable to carry on with the structure. It's unsustainable for, for professional poker players to play on GG. And they're squeezing out not only the professionals, but also the recreationals uh, to where everybody's just going to be losing. And it is a huge mistake you cannot turn the professional poker community against you. It is only going to 
leads to a lot of bad press. Maybe some short-term games for sure. Gains for sure. I'm sure they they've thought it through like that. But I don't think they understand the longevity of having poker players on your team. I could definitely check this as well. Let's see about see about small works. You get to fold out all of his ASEX and some other stuff. <coughs> Yeah, sorry, I don't have the the thing that says the results of the bankroll challenge. We're up to like six point six point three k, something like that. Just a couple of buy-ins recently. Um, all right, so what's he gonna call? He's probably gonna call pretty big if he, if he has something. And this really makes you feel like he's just got something like, you know, pocket eights, you know, jack 10. Whoa. Five. <laughs> that would have made my life a little bit easier. Uh, I guess I fold. Guess he's just got it. Didn't feel like a bluff on the turn. Uh, we ain't fought trips, and it's a very under bluff spot in the river. So, like, if he is bluffing, he's just gonna give up river loss. So. Yeah, if you're not if you're not using throwballs when you're bluffing, I don't know what you're doing. I I even feel bad about about telling people this because it's such a good strategy. I feel I feel pretty guilty, but I'm uh, yeah, I'm opening the door to other people knowing exactly how to how to crush these stakes. <clears throat> like I said, it's probably like seventy percent throwables. I'd say. I could I could see an argument for seventy five to eighty. I could see that. I'm not saying you're wrong. The poker is seventy five to eighty percent throwables, but um, I, I I'm a little bit more conservative in the throwables kind of uh, mentality theology, if you want to call it that, and I'd, I'd lean more towards seventy. So in coin poker, when they get back to my email, I'll fucking play on them. They get back about the uh, proposal I sent them fucking a week and a half ago or whatever. Super down to play on coin poker. I love them. They're just a little uh, bureaucratically slow. Let's say that. All right, we'll hit the old min bet on the turn. Hit the old check. Got some ideas about what size he would go as a bluff and what size he'd go for value. He decides to check back. No. This is so bad. Uh, we're cool with this guy probably being a recreational player because he's less than 100 bigs. What is going on? Am I... He's not telling me what he had. Fan fucking tastic. Right, so this snap call, if anyone's curious, means that we're gonna win the pot. He just snap called this. Now it is time to pounce. Right. Shove that in your silver and smoke it, bitches. How high should a rate be? I honestly don't know enough about it. I just know it shouldn't be, what is it, 7 BB per 100 playing high stakes? I know that that's too much. <coughs> so this is this guy's normal opening size, good to know. Which means that we can actually get away with some uh, some pretty light 3 best now against the 4x. Solid. Let's stick that in your solver and smoke it, bitches! Man, maybe that should be my new thing. What do you guys think? Instead of fuck GTO, which is, you know, people are like, actually, you actually still playing GTO? Because uh, actually, GTO takes into account range analysis and exploitation, actually. How about I just go, stick that in your solver and smoke it, bitches? I think that could be a new thing. We'll test it out, we'll test it out. <laughs> All right, we'll go for the old min bet, C bet. <coughs>
Stick that in your silver and smoke it, bitches. Yeah, I kind of like it. I got a three minute delay, so I'm gonna wait for feedback on it. But I'm I'm digging it. <coughs> How to improve in heads up poker? Uh, the way I improved was play Linus Love heads up until I lost a ton of money. That seemed to get me pretty good pretty quickly because uh, I learned the lesson in a painful way. Very important to feel the pain. Use throwables in life poker, yeah. I usually have like an epiphany poker mug or card protector or knife or something. And uh, I'll, I'll try and launch that at times where I'm trying to in, like, increase my fold equity. Um, I've, I found the knife to be the most efficient, probably increase it by about 30%. Um, but the card protector in, in general, you still get, you're still getting a clean like 10% extra fold equity by uh, Gotta be sevens. Good boy. He's a good boy. Threes. Even better. He's a good boy. What a good boy. That's why we don't need to send the eights into a bluff. Let's actually check this one back. Check it back. Nice. Uh, that's probably silver approved, so I can't really say the say the line. Chat up. Stick that in your silver and smoke it, bitches. That's what you get if you're capping your range against me. That's what you get. A king seven suited against the four X. Ah, my spot. Sounds kind of gay. Yeah, it does sound a little bit gay, doesn't it? <laughs> Tell, telling other guys to stick something somewhere is generally a pretty homosexual thing to do. <laughs> but I'm down with that. I got I got nothing against the gays. Let's uh, let's embrace the culture. Why am I playing this format? It's better. You just get to see more hands. Um, I got a pretty good read against the player pool in general, so it's not like I'm going into this readless. I've played enough poker to know how people react and how people play. Yeah, Linus has probably been saying that for a long time. He's he's very uh he goes he goes very against what the solver says very, very often. What a, what a fucking what a lad. I played a I played a hand against him. It was final table of the fifty K uh, Triton event. There's three of us left, and we're blind versus blind. And he basically just like less than min raise bluff shoves the river against me with blockers that look like they would be GTO approved, but were actually completely irrelevant uh, to, you know, to what the solver would want. Fuck, I hate when this happens. Oh no, I don't want large icons. I want medium. No. Uh, 
and I asked him about it in the next tournament. I won that tournament, by the way. 1.5 million, let's go. Let's go, 1.5 million, let's go. Crush Landers, let's go. Crush Jason Goon, let's go. Um, and I asked him about it. I was like, so what, what was your thought process here? And he was like, I just wanted to win the pot. I was like, you know what? I kind of love you now. <laughs> we we cool. All right. Ace do suited. Checking down deuces. Anything can be self or approved, the right input. That is exactly right. That is exactly right. All right, we are going to be leading this one third. People are underfolding versus this now. They used to be way overfolding, like even a year ago. People are now really underfolding versus this. Just so you know. It would be nice if he proved me right, but never mind. All right, we are going to be four betting this one. Go a little bit, a little bit bigger because nines, uh, you know, they really, they really don't want to see a flop in a four bet pot. <coughs> Balls, 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 balls. Um, oh man, I don't know. We might be priced in. Ace King and Queens Plus. Yeah, I'm priced in. Good luck. Nice. Uh. Uh, stick that in your silver and smell good, bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Silver approved if you put in the right input. I like I like that. It's a new one. Thank you, Tom. As uh we got two two new catchphrases for the stream today. Stick that in your silver and smoke it, bitches. And anything is silver approved with the right input. Uh so that was silver approved. Just so you know. <clears throat> Yeah, might as well make a solver approved call here. It's a big three bit though, isn't it? Ace, play here. Uh, I guess we size up with this one. We will check the flop. Feels good to check. Feels like he's gonna stab a lot. It does make the hand hard, like betting in these spots makes the hand a lot harder to play because a lot of turns like the Jack of Spades uh, <coughs> pretty difficult to navigate, uh, but we're going to continue. Wow. Neat. What a neat. Neat, neat, neat. No offense. Why do I right, keep right, right clicking the felt? Uh, I don't mean to. It's something to do with Tourette's. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta, I gotta try. I'm gonna try really hard not to. It's just a little bit of a tick, to be honest. Luckily, this turn spot is going to be hideously underbluffed by population, so we can we can make some pretty exploitative folds. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be exploitative to just fold Jack Ten, but we're, we're at least happy to fold it. Uh, and the question is now: so we have the best hand versus him pretty much always, unless he has Queen Ten suited specifically. The question is: do we beat him very often? Just kind of know, which is annoying. I think we're gonna go for an overbet. Nice. Stick that in your sofas, bitches. It was it was over approved though, so it's fine. We're currently playing. One cent twenty five or ten cent twenty five cent nine max. Sorry to hear that, my friend. Nice. That is super cool. Uh, so we there's no value in, in raising, so we are just gonna tank all. Give him a chance to just min bet the river if he 
Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we can bluff there though after calling twice. So let's accept our fate. This one we're going to re raise in. What's like a number that looks big in this situation? I'd say this looks huge. Look, look how big 10.7 looks in comparison to 3.48. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, do that. I'm trying to fish out some raises if he has flushes. I'm hoping that he's going to raise with a flush, meaning that if he calls, we can just jam river and get a lot of folds. All right, we'll take that as well. We'll take that. Got to keep barreling after you check raise and you turn the you turn the flush, even if your hand is complete trash for it, which our hand wasn't so bad. Uh, but even if it's complete trash, there's just so many hands that they will have that they're just going to fall. Like aces, no heart, or they'll just throw it in the muck. <laughs> and if they're throwing that in the muck, I mean, you just barrel all, all you want. Just barrel all the goddamn day. I shouldn't open this. Can't do the same. Can we get some 20 to 100 euro buy in MDTs? Are you that sadistic that you want to watch me play 20 to 100 euro buy and MTTs on stream? Do you hate me that much that that is how you want to go about life? Just watching me just sit there for like nine hours and just min plus cash it. Is that, is that, is that how you want to see me live? I respect it. Would you bet in position right where you can check back turns? Yeah, I'd bet. I'd definitely bet in position instead of checking. Um, the reason I checked is because I, I felt like he was going to stab it uh, pretty wide. So we want to call here. The reason I, I believe at least that calling is going to be better is that one of the re one of the main reasons is that he's going to have a ton of ASEX that they're going to want to see bet. And having the cooler on the deuce is really, really valuable, especially against recreational players. Okay, we're going to bet a size that it might be able to look like we can have pocket eights. I don't think he's going to fold pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens. I don't think he's going to fold on the turn to this size. Pretty sure he's not, in fact. Huh? Huh? Are we just dropping? Are you bluffing? You got 6 8? Uh, guys, tell me, tell me what you think he has. Don't be a set. <coughs> Anything but a set. We can have a boat. We get him off a drop. It's the first thing that came to my mind. Feels like we're dropping. Give it a go. I, I think we got him off a chop. I don't know about it. Didn't feel like a bluff, but at the same time, <coughs> it could have been a bluff. Order pretty quickly, which means more likely a bluff, but you never see a recreational player just like third pot the river there as a bluff. It's not something you see. You don't see anyone third pot the river. It doesn't need to be a recreational player. It can be anyone. Anyone. Yo, what's up, Grips? I saw you were streaming uh, just now. You just, you just finished? <clears throat> Ace A offsuit. Don't do it. Open a little bit smaller with 8 suited. No one's going to notice unless I literally say it on stream. Now everybody knows. Give me a job. <coughs> uh, cool. Show me fives. I'm going for a min bet. I don't care what, the, I don't care what people say. I'm going for a min bet. 
And for the thinnest value you've ever seen, then you're thin. Checking this flop, expecting this guy to stab pretty wide. Not too much value and not. <sighs> well, we ain't going nowhere. I'll tell you that for free. I don't even know if he'd raise all his all of his 3x. <coughs> don't know what to make of this call. Oh, man. Back in the day, I literally used to be able to do that and just hope they had aces. That's how. That's genuinely how I would have played 2-0. I don't believe you. I'm going to fold, but I don't believe you. Ah, I don't get to see it. It's a live product. Thoughts on poker stars with cash games after GG rake increase? I think that what's happened is that there's been an opening for a new site to step up and say, hey guys, we're going to do the first three months at zero rake. Or like, yeah, zero rake. Honestly, I think zero rake would be would be the move for 5k and L or above. We're going to step in and do what GG can never do. They care so much about, they should do like a genuine big push for a marketing campaign and just crush uh, to get the favor of the, the pros and say, hey, we're never going to go above this, whatever it is. <laughs> Let me go in for a check raise. Can't just see that willy nilly against me, my friend. Sorry about all the right clicking, but we're trying. Gone, boys. All right, hit the old check button. If he bets big, I think we're gonna snap call. I think snap call is the play. Not bet small. And small, we have to raise. Probably not getting too much value. It it definitely smells fishy. Like if I saw somebody do this, I'd be like, "What what are you ripping? Like what 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 are you what are you trying to tell me? Or like what story are you putting down that you expect me to pick up?" I'm just sitting there with I don't know Jack Ten, Eights, something like that. Be like oh. Queen Jack, nice. Put that in your sofa and smoke it. <laughs> Is that what I used to? Is that what I was saying? Is that the thing? Put that in. Yeah, yeah, put that in your silver and smoke it, bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a six. Yeah, I think that's a good read. I think he probably did have a six. He's in like a pocket six, maybe. <coughs> All right. So again, this snap call means that we're winning this spot. There's no two ways about it. We are going to be betting nineteen dollars and 77 cents the epiphany 77 like that over here nice that was cool i'm in the in the think tank Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Folding his ace queen or whatever. So sorry to hear that. Kind of gross. <laughs> Anyone know if pickleball is just a US thing? I've never seen pickleball in England. So very, very could be. Very, very much could be. But that right there was an example of somebody speaking about something that they have no idea about. Don't do that, kids. All right, we're just gonna barrel off him. What's he gonna What's he gonna turn up with? You know, is he gonna Is he gonna turn up with a seven? I don't think so. We're just gonna say, "What are you made of, my friends? What do you got? What do you got?" All right, he hasn't just got hearts. Uh, I was hoping like you know, Ace, ace Jack of Hearts might be in there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, solver approved. Don't worry about it. <laughs>
It downs three hundred dollars on NL five. Any advice? Yeah, probably go back to the lab. Come join epiphanypoker dot com. Uh, uh, we'll teach you how to beat five and L. I did it. <laughs> try blackjack. <laughs> Don't actually try blackjack, but that's funny. Um, yeah, I did the whole of the bankroll challenge five no, fifty dollars to ten thousand dollars, replicating what Grips himself did back in the day, and uh, I'll teach you how to beat five and L. Well, it's 2NL, 10NL, 25, 50, 100, and then eventually 200. Uh, I streamed every goddamn second of it, boys. Streamed every goddamn second. Hmm. I miss having a HUD. The good thing about GG that uh, Party Poker doesn't have is the HUD. I really miss it. Yeah, if you're down three hundred dollars at five and L, it is not a luck thing. That is a skill thing. Uh, I'd recommend probably taking a, a little bit of a step away from. Lost a hand since you joined. Well, thank you. Uh, but I just did. So I got your recall. I would have I would have kept you around as a lucky token, but nope. So the question is, would he fold to something like twenty two? Two seconds, three second time banger is exactly what you want to see in that spot. Uh, unfortunately, we are running into it. Running into a sticky man. I don't think we can continue here, to be honest. No, we're just going to give it up. We're just going to give it up. Shout out to the Omaha Fox. Yeah. Oh, welcome, beautiful human beings. I am currently making the best give up of my goddamn life. And showing you guys how you can crush 100 NL in a bankroll challenge I'm doing. I already did the $50 to 10,000. Now we're doing the $500 to 100,000. And we're annihilating these mofos. Uh, every play we make is definitely solver approved. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> uh, so please replicate exactly what I'm doing in all of your games. I'm sure it will go completely fine. Uh, yeah, we're having, we're having a little bit of fun. Playing a little bit of red line. In a pool where it's honestly pretty hard to play red line. <coughs> it's pretty hard. I'm happy that, that guy turned up with ace eight instead of just ace jack, because if he's if he's turned up with ace eight and it looked it felt like he almost folded ace eight there, just you know, just saying, just saying, uh, you know, just one second off. Uh, he's very very likely going to be folding ace jack and ace king and ace queen and ace ten. My counting cards, yeah, I'm counting. I got one six. I got two six. I got a pair of sixes. Yeah, I'm counting. No, uh, count, counting cards is a blackjack related phenomenon. It's very often confused with poker. But, uh, would recommend not trying to count the cards in poker. You can count the combos. We did a very cool lesson this morning on combinatorics. You can check it out on my YouTube. The video is still up for a little bit. How many binds is a good result in 25 hours? So the, generally you want to be uh, assessing your your win rate based on BB per hundred, so big blinds, the amount of big blinds you win per hundred hands that you play. 
And uh, it's hard to say exactly what's good, exactly what's not good. Foregoing this, going to be calling this against a slightly smaller four bet. <coughs> three bet. Uh, but, I mean, you know, something like three big blinds per hundred is pretty solid. Uh, you could aim for me and go for 15 BB per hundred. I'd say it's a pretty classic. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm doing there. Gonna call this, going to check this. I'm just gonna, we're we're going to lose this part. I can't think of a, a good way to bluff. This one, we will be going all in. Uh, you know, if we're behind, we're behind. You can't be folding. Pot pair in a four-bet pot. And, uh, maybe every now and again he folds. Um, something like, you know, nines or tens. But more often than that, he's going to have a bluff. And we're going to be able to take down like that. What does 100 L mean? It means that we're playing the buy-in of $100. And we are playing no limit poker. So the NL is no limit. It means if I won, I could bet all of my chips here. Whereas Omaha Fox, as the name suggests, she, she might be into Omaha, where you can only bet the pot limit. That'd be PL. So I'm going to be calling. I'm going to be checking this one. So this guy, this guy is a good player. Um, he's not. He's not. He's not going to be amazing because he's playing hundred now. But <coughs> uh, he'll be. A, he's a good player. You can just tell from that one hand. Shout out to him. You're. Are you only going to play MTTs if there's something big? Like love watching you play in trying to learn for you. I just find cash games incredibly boring. Unfortunately, I'd say the more interest you take in poker, the more interesting cash games become. Uh, so I find cash games incredibly interesting because I find poker incredibly interesting. I find every single hand that I that I go post lot, even even a lot, even a lot of the time pre flop, super super interesting. Um, but yeah, I will I will be playing some tournaments as well. It's just very hard to motivate myself to play for eight hours at a time when I got my family, I got a business, I got a charity that's launching. There's a lot there's a lot of stuff going on in my life, and uh, to sit down for that long a time, I love that it has this little graphic. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit rough. Here, we're going to be three betting pretty liberally in position against a what feels like a game theory reg. Um, 300 bigs deep. He's not going to have studied 300 bigs uh, deep much, but more than that, just being in position 300 big blinds deep means he's put a lot of pressure on. Yeah, we are going to go a little bit outside of game theory. and uh, We're going to make sure that we get a call on the turn from his ace kings and stuff like that. And then on the river, we are looking to get some folds. Huh. Okay. Don't know what he's got, probably both. Never mind. Everyone's kind of three bet and a little bit small here. Uh, we, we're going to turn this one into a four bit bluff, I think. Could even call it this. Yeah, I think we're actually just gonna call it against a four x three bet. How's the zoom on party compared to stars and ACR? I've not played ACR in my life. I don't think I've played it once in my life. Maybe, maybe literally once. Um, I've got a weird memory come back to me there. But um, let me check this one. <coughs> yeah. I, but again, against uh, stars, this is a lot softer than stars. It's a lot, a lot softer. So his his size here is representing something that's better than ace jack. Just so you know, uh, it could be ace ten. So we're literally never folding. However, it could just be tens, uh, and it could be a bluff. It could be king queen. You know, it's a lot of stuff that can really uh, really mess us up here, but we're just not folding. So, nice. Wow, that's a really good bluff. That's a really, really good bluff. Um, so yeah, this guy's good. This guy's good. Um, shout out to Sean, whoever his name is, Sean03. Very, very good player. Um, yeah, very game theory oriented, probably. I don't I don't know if I would go for the bluff there in his spot, but 
game theory wise, it's very impressive to turn up with the right amount of bluffs there. Going to snap check back here, hoping that he's going to start trying to bluff us at some point. I think what we're going to do is probably tank min rays, but we might call. I think we're going to call. Oh, no dice. <laughs> if it if it gone a little bit smaller, we would have min raised. Because of the amount you've won in the past, does losing 100, 100 pounds bother me? No, no, it doesn't. Honestly, I lost, uh, I got scammed for 700K back in 2021. And in 2022, I lost 300K just like that in the Luna crash. And uh, I laughed it off. I love this stuff, man. So the question is to go big or small or check. Yeah, I'm a gambler through and through, and I just love the feeling of that pain you get when you lose. Um, you know, I, I really, I really embrace the downswings of poker, uh, and it's uh, it's a fantastic feeling, honestly. Once you once you get to the point where the money is no longer like, oh, this is impacting my life. Um, because I'm emotionally attached to it and it's just like, okay, this is impacting my life in a fun way. You know, if I, if I lose all my money, I'll just grind it back up. You know, it's just another, it's another layer of the game. Once you get to that kind of mindset, poker becomes so much more easy, it becomes so much more easy to pull the trigger on a big bluff. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, it's an exciting way to live. And it, I'm not just saying that cause, cause I made a shit, a uh, shit ton of money from poker. I'm saying that because I, I know that it's not that because I grew up dirt poor and I started poker with $50 to my name. You know, that was my entire life net worth was $50 and I turned it into millions and I lost at one point I went from 500 K to zero. Another point I went, I remember when I, in my first year of poker, I went from zero to 60 K in like a year. And then in a week I went from 60 K to 10 K. And I remember just being in the shower and just being like, <laughs> oops. You know, I should probably shouldn't have 20, 24 table to the one KNL when I, I'd only just moved up. All right, we're going to be snap leading here, hoping that he's going to still peel all of his like ace kings and stuff like that. Even though obviously they're beating us, we're just going to win the pot against them very often. Um, going to continue betting now. Now hoping that he folds something like ace king. <clears throat> and uh, this, this hand we're just going to it's a good hand from him. It's not not a run out we want to be bluffing. Yeah. Is this with three bet? Uh, let's check. So our hand really benefits from checking. I think I think we're just gonna check it. I think we can still, if it check, check, turn, I think we can still very feasibly have a decent amount of bluffs here. And uh, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to polarize a little bit. I think that he's going to perceive me to be only value betting a 10 or better and still have a lot of like ace five kind of bluffs in my range. His snap call, I guess, means he had a jack. So now I just queen eight. Had the old two pair on the turn, decided not to bet it. I don't blame him. I I, I would personally bet the queen eight. I think it's it's a almost mandatory bet there because it's not like he doesn't have any ace king in his range. You know, uh, when we're this deep, I, I don't like it. I got a Luna tattoo. No, I did not get a Luna tattoo. <clears throat> have I told the story about the seven hundred k scam? I have not. I actually may. I might. I might have a little bit, but not got into detail. It was a really. I thought I thought I'd lost the money already, so I wasn't in the mindset to like look out look out for scams. Um, but it was it was a crypto related thing. I'll, I'll go into it when I'm not uh, playing as many tables. All right, so he bets flop, checks turn, bets river, 
depends. Oh my god. <coughs> Honest, honestly, honestly, thought it was. Bluff. I was so confident he was bluffing there. Uh, I still, I still kind of think he was bluffing, despite seeing that he wasn't bluffing and that he just made a very good value bet. I, I'm still pretty sure he was bluffing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that sure. Everyone's three betting pretty small in these things, so I'm gonna get away with three betting pretty small as well. Uh, taking advantage of the fact that I'm balanced by the rest of the pool, and my hand does want to just bet small because it's three bet small because it wants all of his dominated hands to call. Again, in if I were playing GG, I would C bet this a little bit smaller, actually quite significantly smaller, probably. And the reason for that is that on GG, people just seem to not be so accustomed to big sizing. And you just get a ton of folds when people are using big sizing. Gonna yeah, be going all in here. Jack 10 off, eh? So that's one of one of the examples of wanting to go small. I don't know if this is a recreational player or not. He's playing quite a few tables, I think. Hold. No. Um, so it might be it might be a might be a professional. I it pro it probably is. Even that he raised the flub, I don't think it's a very recreational play thing to do. All right. So usually we could just flat or four bet, but now given this guy's in, we just haven't beat so so often. Uh, it's a pretty mandatory four bet in my opinion. Uh, if this guy has his beat, he has his beat. You know, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world to get in if Jack's pre flop one. I called. All right, so now we just have to pray that he's some kind of whale and he's not just a reg that literally only has aces in this spot. Uh, okay. I feel like aces would have bet, so that's the good news. Don't know what we're hoping for at this point. Okay. I feel like kings would have bet now. He caught us with Queen 10, we caught him boys. <coughs> um, unsure about that. Actually, you know, I wish I called that Jack 10. I think it was a call. I think the sizing is probably more bluffy. Definitely, ah, maybe it's not. Maybe it's my king. Maybe it's the king. I don't know. My instincts are saying both things, which means. So this is the queen 10 guy. Um, so I imagine he's going to be relatively loose, especially after just losing a pot like that. Uh, now our only uh, prognosis, is that what I mean to say? The only, our, only, our only thing that matters right now is making sure that we make, that we make ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack fold. That is the only thing that matters in this, in this spot. If we lose in the pot against ace, king, ace, queen, ace, jack, we ain't good poker players. We ain't we ain't on the good side of history, you know what I'm saying? How often do you play with 100% saving yourself? I assume the big clients are generally staked. Yeah, in general, I've been. We're actually gonna check this one back. I'm a little bit, a little bit sneaky there. In general, when I all right, so we're trying to get value from what one pair basically. We're gonna do that. Maybe every now and again he raises a bluff, but it's probably just got. Probably just got like an eight pocket threes. I don't know. Uh, in general, when I when I was playing the uh, not check raising this because we're deeper. When I was playing the big stuff, um, I had fifty percent of myself in a staking deal, which means that um, means there was no risk on my part, and all of the risk was on rich guys uh, part or maybe yeah gen generally just one person and then we split the profits 50 50 and if i lost then i had to pay back the losses before we split the profits um so yeah had a had a year and a half to two year long staking deal with a man called open 
made him $1.5 million, which if you do the maths, made myself $1.5 million as well. That was pretty sweet. Getting to take 50% of myself in, in those things was really nice for my, for my bankroll. Um, but then any anything like 10K and lower, I would have uh, I would have just taken 100% of myself. I considered jam jacks versus button three bang. I don't think so. I think we, we want to give the big blind the chance to just peel with like eight or something like that, you know. Uh, we're gonna call Hope and he bets the river, beyond hope. His timing does not feel like a king. I don't care what you say. I don't care. I don't, literally don't care. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I don't care. It doesn't feel like a king. Snap, cool, flop. Snap, check, turn. Doesn't feel like a king. Come at me. You want to tell me I'm wrong? You want to tell me? Oh, it feels like a king, isn't it? Let's go. Would have called anything there. Would have called literally anything. All right. That's what you get for timing tells. Do da. Do da. Stick that in your solver and smoke it, bitches. Do da do da day. Can't teach that in Soverland. That's why the GTO nerds hate me. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for being a timing tail box. Do 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 da day. If I can get that from an online play, imagine what I could do when I'm playing live. That's why the GTO nerds hate me. <laughs> we love we love GTO nerds on the stream, by the way. They're people too. And we have to respect. Uh, I do get, if you're new here, you probably don't know, but I get an unfathomable amount of hate from uh, the poker community. And it's always not very successful game theory oriented players. <coughs> People who are not doing too well, they're doing well enough that they have like hopes and identity around poker, um, but they're not doing well enough that they've they've stopped like hating on other people's success. And especially when it's people that are saying, hey, guys, the way you're doing it is wrong. I do it a completely different way. And you're thinking about poker wrong. You're learning it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Your, your theology is wrong. You're, you're in a cult, you know, stuff like that. You know, I can't. I, I'm starting to understand why they might be able to rub people up the wrong way. <laughs> but um, yeah, I get I get a huge amount of hate just for genuinely even just saying, hey, I disagree. And a huge amount of people just want me to be bad at poker. And I love it. I love it. <coughs> it's me against the world, except, you know, there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us out there that are, that are saying, fuck GTO. <coughs> that are saying, <coughs> saying, stick that in your silver and smoke it. There's a lot of us out there. All right, we are going to go a third here. Yeah, I like a third. I like a third. I was going to potentially play against the King Jacks, Queen Jacks, and King Queens of the world. Check back time, call some rivers. Not sure about it, though. Would have been very dependent on some stuff, like timing and whatever the turn is and stuff like that. King 8 suited. We'll 3 about this. Still don't know if this guy's a reg or not. I think this was the Jack 10 guy, so it probably is. I think we'll give him a hesitant reg label. Which means that he will be opening wider with the, the recreational, the lad and the big blind. How did you find someone to stake a million on you? Well, I'd already made a ton of money playing poker. I'd proven myself. I was at the top of the game. I was battling the best and I was crushing. And I sat down next to a beautiful uh, Turkish man called Open. Start, I didn't know he was rich. I thought it was just another, another reg. And we just got talking, started talking about history. And that's kind of fun. And found out he was actually a multi, 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 100 millionaire, whatever. Uh, and uh, hugely successful at poker. And he he believed in me. He believed in my game, even if he didn't fully understand it. And he believed in, in my, my good friend Ben as well. And we used to travel around crushing. Now, those two still do it. They both still tra travel around crushing. I, I took my big step away from the poker community at the peak of my career on the most unbelievable upswing you've ever seen in your life, final tabling things left, right, and center. I took a step away and said, you know what? I've got to start a charity. I've got to try and change the world. And before I change the world, I've got to change myself because I'm a stupid poker player that can't turn up on time for meetings. You probably played in a collusion pool. You're 300 stacks under EV in half a year. 
I don't know if people conclude to take away your all-ins. I don't know if that's possible. I'd be very impressed if it is. Somebody tell me if I'm missing something here. But I don't think that anybody can collude and make you run under EV. I don't think that's a thing. Like Lex Veldhaus. Yeah, Lex Veldhaus, with all, with all the love and all the respect to him, you know, all the shout outs for being a great streamer. He's gr out there grinding. Love to see it. Uh, no sense. Uh, he really doesn't like me. He's, uh, he's not my biggest fan, to put it like that. He's 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 one of the people that I feel is is actively hoping that I that I lose. I think he'll join me definitely. Uh, but all, all the love to him. He's a he's a good poker player. He's a, I'm sure he's a good guy in his own ways. So yeah, shout out shout out to Lex. I think he's one of us. Ah oh, ah, oh, who value bets Jack Ten there? That is outrageous. Checking here, hoping to check raise. Obviously, uh, if you don't get the chance to check raise, you'll start betting. <clears throat> I don't think we can check the turn. I could actually check the turn. I think we could check the turn. I think turn check <clears throat> turn check is better. Yeah, there's like a, a small section, maybe quite a large section, it's hard to say. <coughs> but there's a section of streamers that really, really hate me. And I'm just going to say all of the very successful ones don't. And all of the not very successful ones, not all of them, but all of the people that do have a lot of very strong, hateful opinions about me tend to not be the most successful poker players. I'm not saying that's causated. I'm just openly saying it's correlated. Probably causated. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, what do you guys think? One to call, two to shove, three to min raise. Min raise could be kind of sexy. I think against this guy, we're just going to be calling. We're going to give him the respect that he's earned and say that he's going to have enough bluffs here with his queen nines and whatever else. And that he's going to be capable of a triple barrel bluff. You know what I'm saying? Like he's given up on the river. Shout out V. Put that in your silver and smoke it, bitches. Now nah, that was a, that was a very silver approved man. That was literally uh, played by the book, as they say. Pretty clear. There's more than one way to be profitable. Hell yeah, that's the one. Am I not participating in any big tournaments now? I just don't have the energy to... I mean, I do, I could. It's just very, <coughs> very hard to garner up the motivation to go play for many, many hours at a time. Uh, but if some happen to be around my area in England, then, you know, I've got nothing against jumping in. Card sharing allows you to run under EVE permanently. Uh, you can definitely make a case for opening this against a recreational player. We're not going <laughs> to. Imagine being a millionaire gangster poker player and settling down with one woman, no offense. I honestly don't know how I would be offended by that. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, settling down with one woman is the play. IMO. <coughs> or man. Do whatever you want. My opinion it's a very cool play and uh, it comes with a lot of its own benefits we are going to be raising this
I'm not a big fan of this bluff, to be honest. Um, but I am who I am. I don't think I could just press the check button on the river. Um, yeah, it's that flush. Fair enough. Nice amateur. Yeah, I like the bluff on the turn. I'm not a big fan of it on the, on the river. <coughs> I just didn't didn't have it in me. Honestly, I just didn't have it in me to to not follow through. As a, a display of bad discipline, in my opinion. Why does Lex dislike me? I don't know. There's always multiple reasons. I'm sure that to some people, I've got very dislikable characteristics. To other people, they might be likable. We can't control what other people think of us. So we just gotta. Roll with the punches. I It might be something to do with that I've made some content on him before. And I've always been complimentary of his play, but being critical at the same time, you know. And some, some people really don't like uh, criticism. Might be that. Might just be something personal. But... Mm. Happens, man. It happens. Gonna be calling the block. So it's hard for us to turn up with any bluffs here. Uh, the downside is that even our value bets. Wow. I actually think this is a bluff. This is this this might be absolute buffoonery, but I'm just gonna let's go through. stick that in your silver and smoke it, bitches! I'll, t I'll, t I'll, 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 you know, I'm feeling pretty, pretty smug of this one. We'll sit down next time at all fast forward tables. You know, we'll talk, we'll talk this one through. We'll talk this one through. You guys, you guys want to, you want to talk this one through with me. Do I still believe the earth is flat? I never, never did. Uh, don't know who told you that one. Never, never got into flat earth. Maybe be calling the four bet. <coughs> Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have called that so quickly. That was, that was a big mistake. I should have taken my time there. Nice. We had ace, deuce of hearts. Pretty good play from him, brother. Here we are just going to call down all of the streets. Definitely don't want to be lead jamming that. And yeah, just a sand drawing dead the whole time. <laughs> let's go, boys. A pretty decent stack. Pretty decent stack. So let's let's go back to being a genius for a second. Nice getting forty two dollars back for the bankroll challenge. Shout out to that. Uh, two hands in a row went pretty well. So we're opening eight ten eight suited. <coughs> never never call it eight ten suited. That'd be stupid. Uh, we're gonna be calling. We're going to be calling a three bet. So when he sees this board, his size is basically saying, yo, 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 I'm C betting at a large frequency. I've got all of my, you know, six, seven suiteds. I've got all of my ace, five suiteds. I've also got all my aces, kings, ace, kings, queens, etc., etc." I'm like, yeah, I cool, man. I cool. Don't worry about it. He's like, deuce. I'm hitting the check button. Okay. That probably takes out some like pocket aces. Pocket kings, probably stars like, you know, ace king, pocket queens, uh, some king queen even could decide to check, some king jack could definitely decide to check, stuff like that. So I'm like, you know, what? there's definitely value in betting, but the problem is I'm, I am going to turn up on the river with too many bluffs here. I'm going to turn up with king 10, I'm going to turn up with 10, 9, 10, 8 suited, uh, maybe some floats like ace 5 of clubs against the size that you went on the floor. I'm just going to check it back. I snap checked it back to try and represent some like queen 10s, you know, king jack x King of spades, well, bittersweet because now a lot of our hands make pretty strong hands. You know, we, we can have some king queens, we can have some ace tens, we can have some ten nines that decide to play it like this. And he very quickly, like very, very quickly goes for the, the two thirds bet. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. If he had kings, queens, or jacks, he would at least want to consider and probably go for a check raise. Now, he didn't give that any consideration, but if he has a boat here, he's going to want to at least start 
you know, maximizing versus something like ace 10 or flush. So he's going to want to have that as a check raise very, 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 very likely. But even if he doesn't, he's going to want to consider it. You know, this guy's a game theory player. He's, he, knows, he knows that he needs to consider that. But he doesn't. He bets real quick. Now, what else could he be value betting that big? Ace king? Potentially. Definitely potentially. But does it want to go that big that quickly when we can still have so many of the strong hands? The flush coming in as well. You know, <coughs> it's pretty hard to, to squeeze out too much value. You know, I'm going to have to start calling with like queen 10 that I check back the turn. Ace queen's probably better than the turn for me. Uh, so he didn't really think about the size in there. You know, may, maybe Ace King would want to think about it more. Maybe it just wouldn't want to go that big in the first place. Maybe it want to check call the river. You know, it has some decisions. Now, what kind of hands don't have decisions in this kind of spot? This is what timing tells us. You know, if someone's making a quick decision, that means they haven't thought it through, which means that some part of the range might have snap decisions. The other parts might not. So what would they be? Something like six, seven of hearts. You know, six, you know, eight, six of clubs, something along those lines, ace, five, even, uh, they would have a very easy two thirds bet. What are we going to do? We're just going to be like, Hey, here's my theory. I don't think you're going to three bet jam or anything like that. I'm going to click the old min raise. I'll get the cheapest bluff I possibly can against all of those hands, you know, ace fives in there. So I can't call obviously. Uh, and we're going to get the, we're going to get the fold guys. Go check out epiphanypoker.com by the way. And uh, go check out my, my course. I've got hundreds of hours of this kind of content. This is content that you'll find nowhere else. Nowhere else in the world we find this kind of content. Say something besides boys. Cox says that. Yeah, a lot of people say boys. We should probably get probably get a new word, shouldn't we? What do you guys want to be called? What should we, what should we call you? Eagles. Flying like eagles. Uh, what else? I think we'll call one. We're a little bit deeper. Hitting the six is more valuable. And, uh, it's not. It's not the worst call in the world. Theoretically, going to be good, probably. But exploit wise. Because <laughs> recreational players don't usually see about that big with uh, weak hands. Did I get my graphs from Poke Stars? I was emailing them. No, they just they just didn't work. Uh, for some reason it didn't they didn't work. They told me, "Hey, look, go here. You download your graphs. They're ready for you." And then they just weren't there. So I'll keep trying, but tell be making a new graph, making a new GG graph. Is 100k prop bet going to go through? Uh, no. So again, would have loved to make that prop bet go through. Uh, so far, I'm absolutely annihilating uh, 15 BB per 100, where I only need five over 20k hands, something like that. Uh, now we're going to snap check the turn. <clears throat> uh, but the problem was that there were some people out there that wanted to jump in the pool, drop down stakes, and play against me. And that would severely decrease my win rate when I'm trying to win at 15 BB per 100 pre-rake, which is like 5 BB per 100 post-rake. Uh, and I realized I didn't want to put... Uh, I need to decide what to do on this river. I think sizing is going to be really important. I didn't want to put 100K of my money into other people's hands. I think that would be a, a big time. 52? Huh? Oh, I kind of don't believe you. The hell is that cool? Uh, I kind of don't believe you. But now I kind of do. He snap called the flop. Bet half on the turn. He's literally repping nothing. If he's a reg, this is literally always value. If he's a recreational player, it's mixed. Let's go. He's a recreational player. Let's go. Let's go. Thank God for that purple label, hey? Thank God. Another, another example of a time tell. It's 
the spot where he might see a bit 100%, so we're going to give him a chance to. <coughs> I'm just going to raise it up. Unfortunately, it's a good spot to bluff. Uh, hopefully, he just knows that and just calls me down for lols. Great turn. That was a fantastic turn. I'm just going to bet pot. Um, he's going to fold all his flush draws no matter what I do, and I'm just going to try and look as bluffy as possible, honestly. <coughs> uh, we'll leave him with this. Nice. Because he might be asking, why would he go so big on the turn with the jack? It looks like he's trying to bluff me. Au contraire, my friend. We're on the level above. All right, all right. We got, we got, we got some more battle on the table. This might have been better to tank shove river. It's close. Snap shove and tank shove, I think, are, are both very viable planning strategies. Am I going to Vegas? I'm not allowed in Las Vegas or the rest of America for two reasons. I am legally obliged to stay at home. We would size up here with the value hands. I'm going to size down with the bluff. Does party, feel, party poker feel better than GG? No, it's worse. It's tougher. Um, but, <coughs> and it's a big but, the rake is a lot lower. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it's higher ED to grind on party than it is on GG. There's just so many recreational players. And the and the regs on, on GG are just so tight. It's unreal. It's... It's absolutely unreal how tight the, the regs on GG are. Gonna be over betting the turn it. Stick that in your solvers and smoke it, bitches. Gonna do snap check in the flop here, give him an oh. Sorry. This was check the turn as well. Check the river. Just had check fold on the whole way. Okay. Nice. Well, we were hoping for a bet at some point. <coughs> and the offsuit king was a bad river. Um I think we're gonna bet small. People seem to just be check raising a lot on these uh in these, in these places, so we're just gonna bet small. Here there's nothing to get value from apart from ace X uh, and flush rolls, so we're just gonna over bet. Embrace the fact that we're going to be losing a lot. All right. Who will lead? Always have to be thinking what part of his of his range we're we trying to bluff. At the moment on the flop, it was like ace king, and now it's uh, now it's going to be like queens. Problem is that tens and jacks both have straight draws. Tens pretty likely hands. It's pretty fucking nice river. It's pretty fucking nice river, guys. I don't like people to say guys all the time, but I feel like that one was appropriate. Alright, so the question is what to do. And it's definitely not check. Uh so I think I think the answer is just shove. Pray that he has a jack. He does have a jack. He does indeed have a jack. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Look at these stacks. Look at these stacks. I'm gonna I'm gonna claim pure skill on this one. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no doubt in my mind that that was pure skill. Nobody else could have played it the same. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. No, I'm just pull the crap out of some poor recreational player. <laughs> I'm honestly. I I think we played it very well. Uh, the turn is a question that I would like to uh, speak to some very good players. In fact, spare if you're if you're in the chat. I'm very curious what you think about this. Going to snap check this, hoping he's going to bluff on the king. Never mind. Yeah, the turn's very interesting. It feels like we probably need to triple off that hand, and I think it's okay to triple off. I think it's fine to triple off. I 
think we went a size on the flop that he is going to be raising his sets pretty often. Um, so when he calls a turn, it's going to be a lot of like pocket tens, pocket jacks, ace, jack, ace, ten, something like that. So I think on a break, we, we're pretty comfortable actually just. Maybe that maybe there's a better size. I'm not sure honestly. Maybe there's a better size. Like if we're planning on tripling anyway, maybe we go a little bit bigger and get value if we're confident in the triple. If we're less confident in the triple, we go smaller. It's like a really, really interesting turn spot. The river's kind of kind of simple. This guy's mad at me. Um, for that reason I'll call. Just hoping he's gonna be super wide. Might, this might be a little bit too much. But against the recreational players, it's never going to be too bad. Grosvenor asking me for the source of wealth is just sad. Guy, the Grosvenor asks me for the source of wealth, and I'm like, I won your tournaments. What do you what do you what do you mean? Go Google me. You had me on your front page of Twitter. It's like a year and a half. You know the grossest thing about that is? Right, they had me on the front page of their Twitter for a year and a half. Hoping to get a timing to her. Uh, and I was wearing harem, so it was like a super colorful photo. And they didn't let me back in the casino wearing those harems ever again. They kept turning me down at the door, saying, you have to go home and get changed. Uh, but they carried on representing the, the good old colorful harems in the Twitter. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. So Min Ray's there, hoping he's just going to fold all of his, like, everything. <clears throat> Uh, like ASEX, under, under pairs, under cards, stuff like that. And then also if he snap calls, which is something a lot of recreational players will do against the min -rays, then we just blast off. So if you ever want if you ever want to own me in poker, literally just snap call with a nutted hand. And your my sack is yours. I give a gift I gift it to you. Just gonna check fold here like a disciplines good citizen of the world. If prime Stephen Hawking devoted his whole life to becoming the best no-limb player, does he do it? I don't know. Probably has a good shot. Depends on his, a lot of other stuff, not just how, how his intellect runs. Um, yeah, I, I imagine he's got a very good shot. Is your play style comparable to Stefan's? I don't know anything about, about uh, Stefan's play style. All right. We are just going to bet big here. He, generally off these stacks, people play fit or fold. They're like all in or fold. Um, so it's going to size up for value and size down as well. Sometimes they're cool, you know. So that's why we go up. I'm not sure that's the same. Again, what's probably a recreational player here. Big, see the big again. People again on GG. I wouldn't do this. People aren't very comfortable with big sizes on GG. But I don't think he's folding pocket eights here. Whereas on GG, I think that most people would. Which is which is kind of crazy that the whole player pool plays like that. Um, but whatever. All right, we're all in on the river. <clears throat> Unfortunately, ace five gets there, but uh, for us, not for him. It just means it's slightly less likely to go past him. It's probably a good hand to call with. Block an ace five. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. He's going to have a lot of bluff catches there. Ah, he's probably just going to have so much jack x, he just needs to call with a jack x. I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> we're talking we're talking Silverlands. If he thinks I'm over bluffing, then every every bluff catch he has is cool. So nothing against it. Uh we're calling here deep stacks against a recreational player that's not going too big. Hitting the nuts over here, proving we are indeed the best uh, no limit poker that's ever existed. We are gonna bet almost two and a half times a pot.
think we'll go this size. It, there's an argument for going a little smaller. I just want to target queens and jacks and tens and nines. <coughs> but there's definitely an argument for going smaller, depending on whether we want to barrel the river or not. But I think I was going to go for a two and done. Yeah, 987 rainbow, we lead half pot. I think we're going to check turn and then blast river if he decides to check. Against recreational players, this isn't always the best line, but we are just going to go for it. Aces is good, my friend. Aces is very good. Here we're going to go size that six is going to fold to everything. It's like an ace or king. It's not really. Oh man, I don't believe you. Do I believe do I not believe him enough to click it back? That's the question. Or even just shove. Yeah, shove's bad. Let's find out. I'm I'm less confident about this than the ten eight, but I wish I believed it. I was right not to believe him. <laughs> that is uh that is the most owned you've ever seen me <coughs> by a guy that probably doesn't know what how he owned me or why he owned me but 737 i'm gonna be real with you guys it doesn't get much worse than that it doesn't get much worse than that <laughs> yeah the old 10 deucey offsuit the old doyle Bluff raising river and <coughs> picking off the three bet. Snap picking off the three bet. That man can retire right now, honestly. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't get better than that. That is retireable material material. I should review some of Stefan's hands. Yeah, it sounds cool. I might, I might see if I can reach out to him, see if he'll uh, comment on some. I think I have some mutual friends. I think I have some mutual friends. Oh, no, I don't know. I, had, I have mutual friends with the guy that was battling Stefan. But we could still do it. This guy might be a reg. I'll, I'll take off his label. Jack nine off, two recreational players, I think we'll, we'll do that. Just taking off his label there because that's a reg kind of sizing for three bets. Am I F in uh, 800 bigs deep? Yeah, I was. Then I got wrecked. You can feel you can feel my whole my whole energy has shifted after that hand. <laughs> we got we got to fight back because that that was pretty incredible. He bets here. He's probably bluffing. Unless he bets big, nah, he's probably bluffing. All right, King King X is fine as well. Shout out to that guy, man. I think he's left the pool as well. Or was it this, was it this guy? I, can't remember. I don't think it was this guy. I think he's just left. It's actually really hard to play back against those raises on four four deuce. Against a min raise from a recreational player, we'll be doing this, leading the double guard shot. Check the turn. Cool. Nice. 
He Charlie'd me. He actually, he actually did. He was like, "Hey, Epiphany, Epiphany, stick that in your solver and smoke it, bitch." And I sure did. What was his name? Somebody get. Somebody tell me his name. That's what I get for doing my <laughs> silly range analysis. God damn it! All right, we are going to be three bet in the slot. Had enough of these guys' it's shenanigans. <coughs> Perfect turn. Does suck if he shoves. That's the downside to this at the moment. It's nice to get the idea this guy might not be a, a recreational player as well. He's in some pretty reggy sizes. So good at so good at so good at sets. Alright, we're back in business, boys. One to call, two to raise. Three to shove. And we'll raise it. Nice flop over here as well. Pair and not pair and not flush draw. Middle set. Doesn't get much better. Alright, we're gonna go half pot. <clears throat> More standard plays made here. <laughs> <coughs> All right, top and bottom plus uh, not flush draws looking pretty spicy. I'm actually gonna hit the check button. We have we have the board locked up. There's like very few bad uh, rivers. I shouldn't say that out loud. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> Tell you. Um, that's cool. Gonna go size here. I honestly think he's just got a jack almost always. Uh, he can obviously have some other stuff like king queens and you know, 10 8s that he decides to do that. But... You know, I can make a very good argument for betting here, by the way. Stops us ever having this kind of situation where we're unsure. Um, feels valued to me, so I'm just gonna lay down. <coughs> Long more sessions. It depends. Depends how I'm feeling. Going to be fearful for the fish. You see me with a big stack. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. It, uh, often when you have a really big stack, and I'm um, don't don't uh, don't don't believe I'm just uh, too my trumpet here, but I I've got a little bit of practice with having a big stack. Uh, people will just call you down later. That seems to be the the main thing. People just be like, oh, this guy's trying to bully me around with his big stack, even though in cash games. Charlie with the Fendus, yeah, I think so too. It could have been like the the most five hundred thousand IQ play ever. Have you got kings? Have you have you got kings? I'm not, I'm not letting I'm not letting him milk me. There's no no world where that's ever a bluff. I could honestly just fold the turn. I could honestly just fold the turn. Nobody's doing that with jacks. But he's doing it as a bluff. I think the turn is genuinely a fold, but you have to be so sure on your read to fold the turn with that price. It could just be eights, you know. It could, it could, you know what? No, it's a call on the turn. It could just be eights, getting some protection. All right, we'll hit the call button here with the big blinds recreational player. We'll hit the call button here as well. I just love set mining. Uh, Call the police on me, you know. Tell my family. I I just love set my I, because if you if you don't set my you don't hear sets. Think about it. A good reg will have a lot of turn barrels here because it looks like I got a lot of turn folds. Uh, we'll hit check. I think actually I prefer a bet on the turn. Fold it. 
Definitely a little bit suspect. All right, his timing here is pretty nice. All right, we're just going to barrel off then. Yeah. He's going to have a lot of just snap folds, but then when he does have some like sevens, he might just decide to hear it down three streets. Something gifted us up to Cackity. Shout out to that. Get out of here. Yeah, get, get out of here. <coughs> Unless you want to play heads up, Cackity, if you're in the I don't often challenge people to heads up for rolls, but when I do, I make sure that they're pretty bad at poker. <laughs> we we only got love for, for people in this channel. I think we're gonna three bet. The good thing about three betting recreational players. We're opening the buttons. You don't need to do it very big because um, they're going to be folding their ace five offs, you know, the jack ten offs and stuff, stuff like that. Anyway, no matter what size you go, um, we're folding it. Yeah. Um, so you can just size down with a lot of a lot of hands and get pretty similar fold equity. It's my spirit animal, an eagle. You tell me, what do I think about MDA strategy? Uh, it can go. Uh, Stick my ass in a solver and smoke it self. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty silly. Theoretically, it makes sense. Obviously, theoretically, it's a real thing. But um, when you're trying, when you're trying to beat a hundred and L, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, this is exactly what you want to see. Oh, that is not what you want to see. Question is. Do we start repping a king? I'm doing it. Oh, we hit showdown value. If I was going to start repping a king, now I don't know what to do. Feel like I shouldn't be in this pot. Nah, he's just not folding or anything. All right, guys, don't do this at home. Feel smart when it works out. Feel dumb when it don't. That sizing on the river could be a king. It's not really going to be a bluff for that sizing. Very likely just aces or queens. <coughs> and with these stacks left on the river, I don't think I don't think uh, recreational players are going anywhere. But be honest, guys. Be honest. Human beings listening to me right now. Have you ever found a streamer that plays as entertaining as me? I get that there might be people funnier. You know, Spraggy, one of the most hilarious people that's ever walked this earth. Uh, who else is great? Uh, who's the worst model this type of streamer? <coughs> I, I'm not dissing anyone. I literally just can't think of anyone right now. Uh, Robin Poker. Great guy, very relatable, very down to earth, very kind, very knowledgeable about the game. You know, I'm not dissing, not dissing these people at all. But have you ever found somebody whose actual game is this entertaining? You're like their strategy of poker is this entertaining? You found them? Do they exist? I don't think so. I've never heard a professional player use the term set mind. No, it's. I mean, I, I've definitely heard many of the top players use it. Use it as kind of like a, a heuristic. Uh, like you'd say like, oh, I do have the odds to even set mine, so I can obviously call here, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, you don't. Uh, it's not really a, an entire strategy. because The idea of set mining is that there's no more value to your pair apart from its set. And uh, that just ain't the one. Mmm. I think it's just. All right, we beat some hands. Don't be that. <coughs> <laughs> Thanks, Red Gadget. Appreciate it, man. I think you're the number one gift leader of subscriptions. 
uh, by gifting one subscription. One, this, is, this, is, this is how few subs I get on Twitch. Uh, I, I watch other streamers and they're getting just like hundreds. They're like, oh, today's goal, we'll set a small one for 70 subs. And they have like the same viewership as me. They're like, yeah, just probably, probably maybe 80 today. I get, I get like fucking one a stream. Um, I'm very grateful for that one, by the way. I'm very grateful. Do I think Doug Polk is a great heads up player? You know, I'll say this right here and right now. I'll put, I'll put my name on the line. I'll say this right here. Doug Polk. Yeah, he's a beast. No, he's a, he's a, he's a catcher. <laughs> he's, he's really fucking good. His, his instincts for, for heads up are just phenomenal. I, they're not going to be anywhere near as good now as they used to be just because he doesn't play as much. But his instincts back in the day, I saw some hands that he played and it was just like, it was beyond theory. It, it wasn't that he was just a theory bot. It wasn't that he was just some GTO nerd. He was just so fucking good, man. He was just so fucking good. <coughs> uh, nines, we're going to call one. Not happy about it. His sizing's pretty value heavy, but whatever. Call that small blind against uh, McPoop. I can't do combos once in the session. I genuinely do very, very often count combos. Uh, I might not speak about it all the time, but I, I definitely do do it. Uh, we are just going to check call this one again. Um, the question is whether to lead or to check the river. How often is he bluffing the turn is the question. The real question. How often does he have a flush? I think we just lead it. Called there because we're super deep against a recreational player. Uh, there's an argument there for leading a third as well. I think that's also viable. Or even a half might be pretty cool. But I, I like two thirds. Thank you, Georgios, for the respect with the K. I appreciate that, my friend. I think what, what I'm going to do is literally just repackage this entire video and uh, literally just repost it as a YouTube video because it's, it's been really, really good content. And I've obviously run like God, which is always helpful. Helpful for the algorithm, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, guys, how many of you are part of my Discord right now? Out of interest. One in, one in the chat if you're not part of the Discord. Two in the chat if you are part of the Discord. Uh, Discord's free to join, by the way. Absolutely free. Joshua says, the 10 deuce river raise was me. I have watched your stream while playing. I haven't played a premium hand against you in about an hour. <laughs> I guess you're probably not a huge whale. Uh, I do appreciate the fun of the stream and uh, congratulations on owning me more than anybody's ever owned me in my life. Yeah, <laughs> it, was pretty, it, was pretty, it was pretty amazing. Nice, nice, nice. All right, beautiful people, boys and girls and everything in between. I'm feeling a sit out. Um, how did we do this session? I think we're just up whatever we're up on the table. I don't think we went or much below at least. Let's call it up 600 plus 350, something like that. So we're, we're, up, we're up basically $900. We'll take it. <clears throat> we'll goddamn take it. We'll goddamn take it. And uh, if everyone could head over to um, <coughs> to, uh, to Twitch, I'm going to be raiding a person. I actually went on her stream last week and she has debate streams. And if you guys know me, you'll know me. You'll know that I have debate streams as well. And I fucking love debate streams. I chose to debate whether telepathy exists. And, uh, you know, score one for Charlie. Let's just put it like that. It's my kind of territory. Uh, but she's great. I really fucking love her energy. Go spread some love. And, uh, peace. 
Oh, go go on epiphanypoker.com. Go on epiphanypoker.com. Then spread some love. Peace.